What's up guys? Welcome to another Virtual Box tutorial. As always, I'm TechGeek1019. Let's get right into it. Today, we'll be working on optimizing OSX Yosemite within VirtualBox. There are two things that I will show you guys today. The first is making it so that your virtual box is full screen at 1080p or whatever resolution your monitor actually is. The second is making it run smoother with a specific application within the OSX. So let's boot up our virtual box. Now, when you first boot up the virtual box, if you boot it up and it sits in the login screen forever or just doesn't work, I would suggest running it in dash X dash V dash X is safe mode, which means it turns off all of the previously run applications because sometimes the OSX virtual box, as I found has booted up and said that you shut it something down without closing the application and do you want to reopen it? However, that screen freezes, and so you can't actually get into your virtual box. So I always boot into safe mode just in case that happens. While this is booting up, another thing I'd like to talk about is something that happened to me a little while ago. When you first do the resolution fix, which I will show you in a few minutes, it may boot up and then not work for some reason. It'll continuously try to log in and it'll just spinning rainbow wheel of death as Macs do. So the way to fix that is sometimes you actually need to set the, uh, the CPU ID like we did in the first video with that workaround. So you may just want to run that workaround again just as precaution. Sometimes it may actually do this that's completely fine. Don't know why it started doing that, but it's whatever. So let's let this boot up and we will go right in to our virtual box. So let me tell you guys right now what the optimization app is that we will be using and I'll show it to you once we get in. It is called Beam Off, all one word. I'll put a link for it in the description you may want to open this within the browser of the Mac. If it is completely unusable and it is very bad, then you can download it on a regular computer and it will actually um, work then. Now, it looks like we are getting that spinning wheel of death for some odd reason. So, what we will do is we'll open up a command window and we will cd to VirtualBox as we do. Uh, program files, Oracle, and we'll put this in here and hit enter. Now we're gonna use the workaround, which I have a, the command over here copied and let me just put in the name. There we go. Close VirtualBox and reopen it. And we will run this. So as I was saying before about BeamOff, if you install it to your computer, you can actually transfer files back and forth uh, with a shared folder. So. That is something you can do if the Mac runs so slowly that you can't even manage to open up a browser uh, to download this program. So I'm not going to make you guys sit through this. I'll be right back when this reboots. All right, so it finally loaded up and we are here inside the virtual box. Now, as I said before, the first thing I'm going to show you is beam off. And basically it turns off a certain setting in Mac OS X that sort of interferes with the virtual box. As you can see, the mouse is a little laggy there, but if we run this beam off application, it's nice and smooth. Everything runs smoother. You might not be able to tell, but it does run 
a lot smoother. So that's the first optimization. The second optimization, you need to go to Go and then Computer. Go inside Macintosh HD or whatever you named the system. Extra. And then there's org.chameleon.boot.plist. You're going to open this with text edit. Now you'll see that it has a string under the key graphics mode that has this resolution in it or something similar. You're going to want to change that to whatever the resolution is of your monitor. In my case, it's 1080p. The 32 at the end of it is just the color key, so you should leave it as 32. So we'll save that, close this, close that, quit text, and we're going to now turn it off. Okay, we're going to close VirtualBox, we're going to open up a command prompt, and we're going to cd to VirtualBox again. Oops, I did not actually CD. I just did that, CD. Now we have a command that we must put in, and it is vbox manage set extra data, then the name, Yosemite, then custom video mode 1 and then the resolution that you put in before and hit enter. It won't look like it did anything but it sure did. It changed the resolution of the VirtualBox file itself. So if we boot up And we do dash x dash v again. And wait for it to load up. Even the command lines, if I hit right control f, which is for full screen, even the commands and the text that is going here is full screen, as you can see. It looks like my entire screen is running this. So, once again, I'll be right back when this thing boots up, and you guys can see that it'll be full screen. Okay, so as you can see, it booted up, and it is completely full screen. Now, if it runs a little rough after you change the resolution, just run beam off again. That would usually fix it. And if it runs here, there we go. And now it is back to running just as smooth as it was before. So there you go. Now it looks like you have a Mac on your entire screen, but if you hit Control F, you're still in Windows. It just looks a lot like you're in. Oop, it switched monitors. Thanks, bruh. Thanks a lot, bruh. Sometimes I gotta fix that. No, wrong screen. All right. Well, it doesn't really matter. So, that's gonna do it. Don't forget to hit that like button if this helped you, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials in the future. Thank you guys once again for watching, and I'll see you next time.